In a striking moment of television drama, Prince Harry found himself publicly stripped of his royal status during a recent CBS News interview with anchor Jane Pauley. The exchange has sparked considerable discussion about the future of Harry and Meghan, reflecting the broader implications of their departure from royal duties. During the interview, Jane Pauley addressed Prince Harry simply as Harry or you, consciously omitting the traditional Prince prefix. This shift from the once preferred Your Highness to the more casual Your Husband marked a stark departure from his previous royal treatment. Pauley's deliberate choice to forgo the title reflected a broader sentiment that by relinquishing their royal roles, Harry and Meghan also forfeited their associated titles and privileges. Harry, visibly taken aback by the omission, attempted to defend his status, revealing his discomfort and sense of humiliation. Pauley, however, remained resolute, reinforcing the idea that the couple's choice to step back from royal duties had consequences, including the loss of their prestigious titles. This public snub from Pauley not only underscores the couple's diminished status, but also highlights a poignant reality. Despite their past as royals, they now face a new reality where the titles no longer hold the same weight. The interview revealed a marked contrast between their former royal privileges and their current status where royal treatment is no longer an automatic expectation. The visible discomfort of both Harry and Meghan during the interview was evident. The couple appeared strained and unhappy with expressions that hinted at underlying resentment. The dynamic between them seemed strained, reflecting a deeper issue at play. The perception that Meghan's reliant on Harry and vice versa contributes to a narrative of mutual dependence, with both parties seemingly struggling to adjust to their new roles. The transition from royalty to private citizens has not been smooth. The couple's inability to fully embrace their new status has led to speculation about their preferences. If given a choice between retaining a semblance of royal status or pursuing financial gain, it's unclear which direction they choose. The suggestion that they might seek to retain their titles or alter their public personas to maintain a connection to their former royal lives speaks to the broader challenges that they face. In their previous royal life, Harry was consistently addressed as Your Royal Highness, and was accustomed to the deference and respect that came with his status. The transition to being addressed more casually and lacking the deference of his former position is a significant adjustment. The shift from being bowed to and respected, to now being met with indifference or even mockery, underscores the dramatic change in their public standing. The stark contrast between their former and current circumstances highlights the challenges that they face in adapting to their new reality. As former working royals, Harry and Meghan had access to world leaders, influential charitable organisations, and a high profile that facilitated their public appearances. Now, they must navigate the competitive landscape of Hollywood and mainstream American news programmes to maintain their visibility. The interviews exposed the fragility of Harry and Meghan's public image, without their royal titles, their ability to leverage their former connections is significantly reduced. Their brand heavily dependent on the royal status faces substantial jeopardy. The incident has laid bare their vulnerability and highlighted the reliance on their royal heritage for their public persona.